Carson Newman falls to Limestone on the road, 77-75. Andrew Rogers here with the head coach, Mike Mincy for the Eagles Sports Network. Coach, uh, faced some adversity there a lot in the second half, uh, but you saw your team fight back, get into it, regain a lead uh, after two free throws from Lindsey Taylor, ultimately a uh, late three-pointer, the difference uh, throughout the game, what you see that allowed uh, the Saints to play well, put you at that deficit in the second half uh, to eventually come up short. Uh, if I have to give a summary of the game, um, it's uh, I thought the starters came out, played great, had good energy, uh, gave us some good stuff. We went to the bench, um, and uh, there was a span there. I don't know the exact numbers. I just know we got outscored. We lost all momentum, kind of gained it back a little bit there at the end of the first, scored 27 points, only put 10 on the board in the second quarter. Um, their confidence was growing. They were getting us on islands, going downhill out of our man. Um, you know, other teams can guard them more effectively than we can for whatever reason. We just don't do a good job of that. Um, third quarter, you know, it was back and forth battle. We fall, I think, uh, tied them up there. Not tied it, but we're still down five, yeah. one in the fourth. And, um, you know, I really struggled as a coach as to uh, who to rotate in, who to rotate out. Um, kind of had to keep it pretty close to the vest with our substitution pattern just um, based off the plus-minus chart and production, that kind of crap. But. Um, Glad that we gave ourselves a chance at the end. Clearly, as a coach, you got to decide what you want to do with uh, the amount of time that was left up one. And, um, you know, I didn't feel comfortable, man, because of what they had done to us all day. They can get mismatches. Didn't feel comfortable with that, so we went zone. And um, I don't know, whatever the stat you told me, uh, number 10 hits her first three and five games. games. I mean, it's yeah. just the way it goes. Uh, Megan Watson has been a Carson Newman killer this year. She's made 12 total buckets against us. Um, I don't think there's been a game this year. She's hit more than four, maybe five in a game. Uh, so she sees Carson Newman coming to town. She gets uh, confident, I guess. Uh, you guys were efficient offensively, but so were the Saints. You mentioned there uh, that they were able to get downhill, be effective against you offensively. What was allowing them to get downhill, uh, to get some easy looks inside the arc? Well, they got us on one-on-one -on -one matchups. And, um, you know, they're just running dribble drive stuff and, and, and getting downhill. And, the more you see success out of it, the more confident you're going to be. And, um, you know, our gap coverage wasn't very good. You know, we were just leaving guys on islands to try to guard, and that's not the type of team we are. Um, and I guess we're scared of their ability to make threes, but they only have so many of them that actually take a ton and, and make them anyway. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought they – credit to Limestone. I thought they did a good job uh, all day long from an offensive perspective. And, um, you know, especially when they have zero and 20 in the game – they can get post-ups near the rim, and it's just a mismatch for us. And if we don't have a secondary defender come over, kind of like how they have to do with Lindsey, uh, then it's usually not going to work in our favor. So uh, defense really let us down today. But you know, if you go back to the game at Carson Newman, they scored 72 there. We just happened to score 96. Here we gave up 77, and we only scored 72. Uh, one week off prior to the final regular season game, what's the emphasis as you look to regroup and get ready for senior day against Mars Hill? Well, I mean, losing is – bad. I mean, nobody likes to lose, but it's just part of the game. I mean, there's stuff that happens throughout the course of the year. There's stuff that happens in the game, course of the game um, that are unexplainable type stuff. I mean, it's just it's just the way it goes, you know. I mean, Limestone was in this situation, uh, I guess, against Emory and Henry. You know, it's one, you know, they have a buzzer beater uh, to lose. And, uh, you know, Emory and Henry hit a shot there from the corner. And, and today it was just our time to lose. I mean, there's certain things maybe we did right, um, but they had kids step up. And maybe it's kids that don't maybe scored more than their scoring average. Uh, it's just the way it goes because each game is different. So, um, you know, we'll rest up. We'll, we'll be ready to go to go to, uh, to task against Marseille next Saturday. Uh, they beat us at their place, so we'll have some sense of revenge there to try to get that game back, uh, honor our seniors the correct way, and then, uh, you know, we'll just kind of see where we stand from there.